There was absolutely no disrespect uh, meant or involved. Um, we, I'm, it's very unfortunate that the, the Glenn family uh, has to listen or hear this. Um, and it's an embarrassment to me and to the Air Force uh, and to my profession. The invitation to see John Glenn's remains were from a totally professional perspective. Uh, from an embalming preparation perspective, we've been tasked with uh, preserving him for up to six months. Um, and I was proud of the job that they had done. Again, it was a totally uh, an anatomical um, uh, preservation embalming uh, perspective that we had, he had been initially prepared well and we had made, taken additional steps to prepare him. And after the six month period, we were proud to say that um, he was perfectly viewable and the family would have been able to see him again. And he looked as well or better than he did when he came in. Did you extend the invitation to the inspectors because it was John Glenn? No, if it was, he was probably the only body we had in the, in the building at the time. And again, if, if you want to inspect our preparation, um, that he's all we had. And if it was, if this was private Smith or private Glenn, I really don't think it would ever have been an issue. Um, I think the inspection team um, blew it out of proportion. I just again want to say I'm, I'm sorry to the Glenn family um, for this to surface and in the way that it did and, um, and to be reassured that there was no disrespect um, to one of my all-time heroes, um, Marine, pilot, astronaut, senator, and also the, the closeness that I had with NASA in handling the remains of the Space Shuttle Columbia. Um, I worked directly with NASA and they were uh, so great, so appreciative uh, for the work that we had done in returning their fallen as well.